It happened just after 6 a.m. this morning. A man attempting to cross from the east side of Marine Corps Drive to the west side of the road. A northbound Nissan Sentra struck the man first. The victim thrown into the southbound lane where he was hit a second time by a Nissan Frontier pickup truck being driven by D. Flores of Chico. Flores told PNC News that she heard a loud thump and saw the body come flying at her pickup from the left side. The man hit the front left bumper and then fell in front of the front left tire. He was dragged a short distance, said Flores, before she could bring her pickup to a stop. In tears, Flores asked, do you know the name of the family? I want to call them and apologize to the family. The man is the fourth person to die at this intersection this year. Back on August 22nd, three men were killed in the early morning hours of that day in a two-car collision at this same Wustig and Route 1 intersection. A traffic light with crosswalk is still under construction here. The traffic light was not yet finished in August when the first three men died, and neither the traffic light or the crosswalk signal was operating this morning when the pedestrian was killed. Work on the intersection began last January. It's almost December. They're going to go ahead and lay the friction course on top of that. Uh, once they're ready, they're also working on the wiring as far as the signalization uh, uh, instrument is concerned. So once that's completed, it's, it's very close. I would say maybe within a month's time, we should have that project completed. Today's victim was dead at the scene and remained on the roadway for nearly three hours until a vehicle was dispatched to collect him. GFD spokesman Joey San Nicolas told PNC News that the primary utility pickup truck, which is dispatched to collect expired bodies, had a flat tire and was in the shop getting fixed. A second utility pickup had to be found and dispatched, and the body was eventually removed shortly before 9 a.m. There were eight traffic fatalities in 2008, 13 in 2009, and 16 so far this year, a quarter of them here at this deadly intersection. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.